and thanks for joining me in this video. So today I'm here with a bunch of items that I got from Tofu Q. I I thought I'd do a sort of haul video. I ordered these a few weeks ago, the box has just been sat here so I kind of forgot what I ordered apart from one thing which I was really excited for. Um, so yeah, let's just go straight into it. So as you've seen from the thumbnail, this is what it looks like. Um, so right on top we have two of these. Now these personally aren't for me, these are from my lovely friend Nicole who I do very frequent package swaps with um, and she said she wanted a couple of these. I asked if she wanted anything when I was ordering and she said she'd love some of these um, Kirby Bakery Cafe things. Uh, I'm not too familiar with Kirby, like I know the character but I don't really know is there a show, is there this, that, not sure. Um, but it looks really cool, so there's like strawberry sandwich, caramel french toast, cream bun, cheese fondue bread on that side and then the other options on the other side are apple bread, sweet green pea bun, cro croquet monsieur and blueberry danish. They look really cute, so they're all like little mini puddings that come with the little characters. So yeah, two of those, obviously I'm not going to open because they're a gift for my friend. Uh, but I thought I'd show you guys, they are part of the haul. And then this is the main reason I kind of placed the order actually, is this little guy, it's so soft. Um, so this is a very beautiful little like coro ham, um, little hamster and um, yeah, official product of Amuse, imported by to Tofu Cute. It's a, a little barista hamster kind of character. I just thought it was so cute. I love the idea of like this little guy kind of making tea and stuff. You can barely see his little face. He has got a little mouth. I don't know if he's got a pink nose, but you can vaguely see a tiny little pink mouth in there. But he is so soft. He's quite squishy and adorable. Not quite sure where I'm gonna put this little friend yet, but I just had to get him. He was so cute. So yeah, that's him. And then next up, I got a couple of little pocket mirrors. I'm always needing little mirrors. Um, yeah, I just got two of these. They're actually a bit smaller than what I kind of expected, but they're still really nice. Um, so I got one which is cotton candies. Um, so yeah, it's kind of less than palm size actually. It's quite a small little mirror, but it does the job and it's really handy. Sometimes I just need these if I want to check my lipstick or, you know, we all need a little mirror now and then. So I thought those were adorable. Um, prices, by the way, I should mention prices. These, oh, I actually can't remember how much these were. They might have been nine to 11 pounds, somewhere in that range. I can't honestly remember. I'll put that on screen how much the remint sets were. Um, this little guy, he's the keyring version. He was 7 99 I think. Um, the bigger versions are obviously more expensive, but I actually like the smaller version. Um, and then these mirrors were £1.50 each. So yeah, so I got the cotton candies one. I actually have a plush cotton candy, which I purchased off one of my friends who was selling hers. He used to be sat behind here like a little white, he looked like a bunny, but I think he was technically a white dog, but I've moved him now. Um, but then I also got this, and this is a little Coraham one with those two, and I thought they looked really cute as well. So two little mirrors. I got this Fanta and this is, I think it was like cream soda Fanta and that's actually quite a big one. So I got a kind of mixture of like food and, um, you know, sort of toy based stuff. Um, so yeah, I really wanted to try this. I love Fanta. Oh yeah, here we go. Fanta soft drink, green soda flavor. Fanta is a great brand because they have so many different flavors. They're all vegan. Um, yeah, and this actually has real sugar in it, which is hard to find sometimes. I really, me and my partner really avoid sweeteners. He has trouble with aspartame, it's quite a bad sweetener, and in general, I would rather just treat myself to a bit of sugar now and then, rather than having sweeteners like every day. Um, so yeah, really excited to try this one. I don't know if I'll do a taste test. I might, I don't know if that's interesting. Me sipping a drink and saying if it's nice or not. From Thailand, it says here, so that's awesome. And then I also got this bag of sweets. These sweets, I think, were like three pounds, so quite expensive um, for not a humongous bag. Um, but these are also vegan and these are grape flavor. They're hard candies. I love grape flavors. Um, yeah, it's just it's just such a nice flavour. I don't mind like normal grapes. I do quite like like black grapes. Green ones sometimes are a bit sharp, but in terms of sweet flavours, I love grape. Um, so yeah, a little bag of these. I thought me and my partner can try these, but yeah, they were quite pricey. I think they were two ninety nine. Um, yeah, but excited to try them. And then the last thing I got is my partner picked this one out and he wanted to try um, a drink as well. And this is a Japanese cola, I think. Uh, Ramune, Ramune, sorry if I'm mispronouncing that. Um, so yeah, so this is just a cola 
and it's nice it's actually in a little fancy glass bottle um, but that was everything so it was quite a small kind of haul I didn't buy loads of stuff from there but it is quite expensive like when you're buying kind of imported goods but I suppose that's the fun of it you can treat yourself now and then to some cute plushies and like you know some nice snacks or drinks they have got a lot of nice stuff on there I do love the website I hope they'll get more hamster plushies because I just love these sort of things so adorable I'd love to collect more of these but yeah thanks so much guys please like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye!